DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're gonna be going through a 30 minute upper body resistance band workout with cardio. For this workout, we're gonna go through four groups of three exercises performed for two sets each. Once we finish our two sets of each group, we're then gonna go into three cardio exercises. Our working time for the resistance training is going to be 30 seconds, and for the cardio, 20 seconds. We do have a 20 second break in between our resistance training, so be sure to go a little bit heavier during our 30 second working times. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. Put about 20 seconds until you started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now, our first exercise we're going to go into is going to be bodyweight squat with an arm raise. So, feet about shoulder width apart, arms out. We're going to drop down as we come up. The arms are going to go up. A couple seconds. Here we go. Dropping down, coming up. Dropping down, coming up. Try to keep your weight in the heels, back nice and straight, chest out, head up. There we go. We got jumping jacks next. Let's get one more here. So feet together, right here. Low impact, you're right here. I'll try to remember the low impact on the cardio today. Just nice and easy on these. Chest openers next. There we go. So slight bend in the elbow here. There we go. We're not trying to strain it as we pull back on these. Got arm swings, forwards and backwards here. Oh. Feel my shoulders nice and tight. There we go. Again, nice and easy here. Not trying to strain anything. Bend over rotations next. Here we go. Hinging at the hips here. Coming up. Back down. Switch sides. Toe touch kicks next. Let's get one more here. Stand up. There we go. Right here. Try to keep the back a little straighter here. And we can stretch out the hamstrings. There we go. Feeling good. Twenty seconds until. We get started with chest press or push-ups. Oh, let me demonstrate push-ups real quick. So push-ups, we're gonna be here, up and down, up, down, up, there we go. For chest press, we're gonna take our bands behind the back, through the armpits, and then from here, press straight out. There we go. Just a little note, I have my bands going across my palms. That way my wrists kind of stay in line with my forearm as well so i have it just so you can see like that that way the bands a lot of people will kind of grab them with like an overhand between the thumb and index finger and as you extend these and bring them back it's going to wear that skin out let's get one more oh yeah all right we got rows seated rows here we're gonna do double leg or double double leg mm -hmm. double arm rows take our bands Wrap it around a single foot here, get them evened out. There we go. Sitting nice and tall. There we go. Palms face the body here. Face the legs, I should say. Pull back, squeeze, I'm back. Pull back, squeeze, I'm choke up on mine. It's a little too easy for my liking. Oh yeah, there we go. Oof. Pull back, home floor. Pull back, home floor. Oof. Here we go. We're going to go into reverse flies here. We're going to use a lighter weight. Oh, here it is. Lighter, lighter weight here. We'll just keep getting lighter. So I'm using our red band, which is a 20 pound band. Wrap it around, and then I'm going to have you can have your palms facing down or towards each other. Either one is fine. Slide bend in the elbows, and then we're coming back right here. 
It's pretty much like the opposite of a chest opener. Oof. There we go. Oof. Come on. Oof. Feeling it in the back here. Oof. 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 There we go. Woo, that burns. Burns so nice. I'm gonna do push-ups this time. If you wanna do a chest press, you can. Totally fine, no big deal. I just like doing push-ups more. A couple seconds, here we go. So I'm coming down, and up. Down, and up. If you're doing push-ups, and you can't do them on your toes, that's totally fine. Drop down to the knees. If you want to do them on the toes, but you need a little break, drop down on the chest. Take a second or two break, come back up. Drop down, rest, back up. There we go. So you can kind of do a little bit of rest pause action there. There we go. Oh, we got one more. There we go. Going back into our rows. Grab that, sit down. 10 seconds on this break. Sit nice and tall. There we go. I'm back. Oh, yeah. Oof. Don't forget to breathe. Oof. So we're inhaling as we extend our arms, exhaling as we pull back. Oof. 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 Come on. Oof. We got one more. This can be a quick switch here anyways. We're going to stay in the same position. Band's right here waiting on us. Again, make sure you wrap it completely around the foot. That way, no matter which way you pull it or how your foot is, the band isn't coming off. We don't want it to pop, pop off your foot and smack you. That doesn't feel good. Oh, the burn on these. It is legit. Oh, come on. One more. Ah, there we go. All right, we got 10 seconds. We got step outs. So stand up. We're going to pick a target on the ground here. We're going to step out to it. Here we go. There we go. Just like that. Make sure use those arms. Low impact. You're just not hopping. One foot at a time here. Make sure to use those arms. There we go. Breathe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Heels off the ground. Here we go. We got a run in place right here. You'll probably see me messing with my watch a lot today. I have my steel band on. And it likes to come loose because it's just magnetized. So running in place, low impact, marching in place. Quick march, quick march. Come on, let's go. Heels up the ground. Here we go. All right, three-step shuffle. Let me pull my mat back a little bit. So we're going to the side, come back. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Low impact. You're just not hopping. You can still go quick. I'm pretty sure Jen always beats me in speed with the low impact method, to be honest. Here we go, 30 seconds. We got incline chest press or pike push-ups. For pikes, we're gonna do push-up position. I like to have my hands a little bit wider on these. Your butt's gonna be up in the air and then chin comes right above the hands on that. For incline chest press, <laughs> same setup as regular except we're gonna push up towards the top of our head. 
Let me grab that. Here we go. So we're going to be up here. So incline chest press, regular chest press. Focusing on that upper chest when you come up, bring the hands together, squeeze the chest. Here we go, we got shrugs. So for shrugs, we're gonna step on our bands with both feet and we're gonna have our feet nice and wide, eat up a ton of the bands. We don't want much band on each side. It's a short range of motion movement here. Here we go. Shoulders come up to the ears. We're not pulling the head down and straining the neck. So we wanna look straight out, even a little up is fine. We don't wanna do this. We're not doing that. Come up, squeeze, back down. Up, squeeze, back down. There we go. We've got alternating reverse grip rows. You can do these seated or standing. Since our other two are standing, I'm gonna do mine standing. So I'm gonna step on it with both feet, feet relatively close together, palms facing out away from us, and then elbows stay tucked in. So our setup is right here. Here we go, coming up. We're pulling the bands up and back, kind of coming right at like the hip versus the stomach. So we're pulling here, not here, we're back here. That's the up and back I'm talking about. That way you can really feel it right here. That's when we come back, we're trying to feel it right there on the side. That's the lat right there. Here we go. Back in to incline chest press or pike push ups. I'll probably do pike this time. I'll definitely do pikes this time. I can't pass these up. Come on, you know. Here we go. I'm coming down, up, down. Up. You are going to feel both of these exercises in your shoulders. That is to be expected, but you should also get a good amount of chest work in as well. Back into shrugs. Go. Get our feet nice and wide. Eat up those bands. A couple seconds. Then we keep the head up. Come up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Squeeze. Down. There we go. Come on. Here we go. Alternating reverse grip row. Wipe a little sweat real quick. Starting to come down. Couple seconds. Remember, palms face out away from us. Elbows stay tucked in. Here we go, come up, back, up, back. There we go. Ah, come on. There we go. Woo. All right, a couple seconds. We got half jacks. So our arms are only coming halfway up on these. Here we go. Arms only coming halfway. That way we can go a little faster. Low impact. You're right here. Remember, low impact doesn't mean low intensity. Come on. Push it out. 
Speed up. Speed up. Come on. There we go. Full jump rope. So, it's like we're jumping rope. We didn't got one. That's all right. Here we go. Full impact. You're just doing double leg calf raise or alternating single. Come on. Push it out. Come on, come on, come on. Lateral shuffle and touch. So we're going to start with our feet wide on this one. Get it. Feet together, apart, tap, tap, tap. Low impact. You're right here. It's just no hop. It's pretty much the basis for the low impact stuff is we're eliminating the hopping. Still doing the similar movement. Here we go. 30 seconds. The fun begins. Bicep curls. Go a little heavy on these. Heavy might not mean switching bands when we're using resistance bands. Dumbbells, that's typically what it means, using heavier dumbbells. But bands, I use the same weight I typically do, except what I'll do is I'll widen the bands or widen my feet out. That way, more of the band is in between my feet. Now it's increasing the resistance. Oh yeah. And then if it gets too heavy, you can do like an alternating close curl. I feel like I can do like one and a half times the weight for the same reps with alternating close curls as regular bicep curls. And then if it gets too tough, you can also just bring your feet closer together. It's gonna make it just a little easier. Oof. Oof. Over at tricep extension, we're gonna drop the side down. That's gonna be my back foot. So the side is gonna be your back foot. Drop that down, step through. And then what we're gonna do is I like to put my thumb through the handle, bring it up and over. Other thumb goes through the handle. There we go. Coming up and down. Up and down. If your back or butt is rubbing the bands, step a little further away. Just make sure you keep that back heel down. We don't want our heel and the back to come up because then the band's going to start to want to come out from under our foot. We don't want that. Come on. There we go. Good mornings. All right, this one I would say go lighter until you know because this is a lower back exercise. I don't want you to hurt your lower back because it's going to put you out of commission for a little bit. So we're going to start right here and then slight bend in the knees. And then we're bending at the lower back. So we come down and then back up. Nice, smooth transition here. If it feels maybe a little bit easy when you're right here, just kind of choke up on your bands just a little bit. I'm going to do one more. Going back in to bicep curls. You'll start to know real soon if you went a little too heavy. If you start to feel your lower back, maybe it's starting to lock up a little bit or something. Then on the next one, just try not to use any weight or just don't do it all. Pick a different exercise. One of your favorites. And do that instead. Last thing I want you to do is have a sore or injured back. Come on. One more. There we go. Woo. I'm going to drop that one. We got over tricep extension right here. Stepping through. Thumb goes through the handle. I'm waiting here a couple seconds. There we go. Bring it up and over. There we go. I'm up. Down. Up. Down. 
Don't forget to breathe. Full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Last one. There we go. Good stuff right there. Going back in two good mornings. Ten seconds. I think I'm actually gonna end up using heavier. You don't have to go heavier. Do what's right for you. Don't follow what I'm doing for the resistance at least. For the exercises, definitely. For resistance, that's subject to the person. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Last one. Oh. There we go. We got skip hops. So it's like we're skipping. We're just doing it in place. There we go. Try to keep the heels off the ground. And bounce on the balls of the feet. Low impact. I want you to get a high knee march with the calf raise. Still trying to get up on those toes. There we go. We got tie knees. So we're gonna get a nice little split stance. Weight on that front foot here. Hands up. Pretty much no weight is transferred to the back foot here. And we'll switch it 10 seconds. Switch it up. I almost forgot. There we go, X hops. Dang, I just moved my mat forward too. All right, so X hops. Start with our feet wider, hop feet together, hop feet apart. Make an X on the ground here. Right there. I like to try to stay in the center here. Kind of lean forward and back. Little impact, step in and out, out, in and out, out. There we go. There we go, 30 seconds. We got shoulder press coming up. For shoulder press, I'm gonna end up taking a knee. For mine, if you're a little shorter, I'm like 5'11 and change. I'd say if you're over like 5'8, you probably wanna take a knee. Under 5'8, you might be able to do a standing. Just might have to go a lighter band. Make sure I got my bands even here. It's all right, here we go. Press it up, coming down. Press it up. Coming down. Make sure that your elbows are slightly in front of the shoulders. There we go. Push it out. Let's go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna drop this band down. We got clean pulls left and right, right here. There we go. So we're gonna do left side for 15, right side for 15. There we go, dropping down, coming up. We're just pulling to the chest right here, coming down. Honestly, if you wanted to, you could probably just do both like that. If your band feels a little bit heavy, that'd be totally fine. Oh. Switch it up. Come on. A little extra cardio there. All right, we got high rows. I think I'm going to try this band. We're going to be seated here, just like our regular rows, wrap it around. Here we go. Get it even. All right, this time our goal is to keep our elbow up high, kind of in line with the shoulder. Oh, there we go. Oh. 
We are bending the elbow here. Oh, burn so good. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, we got another. Oh, that's the toughest exercise today. Going back into shoulder press. The high rows, the reverse flies. Woo, it's always burned so good. Back in the shoulder press here. Drop down, get it right. Push up and down. <laughs> the shoulders are on fire. If you need to alternate, you can just go left and right. That's fine. Left, right, just like that. You can even do like a left, right, both, left, right, both set up. Come on. One more. Here we go. Clean pulls again. Get ready. Wipe the sweat. Let's go. Dropping down. Up. Down. Up. Oh. 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 Don't forget to breathe. Keep the back straight. Hands stay close to the body the entire time. Switch it up. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh. There we go. High rows here again. <clears throat> After this, we got core. We're going to finish with core exercises instead of cardio. It could be cardio core exercises, a little bit of both. Honestly, I can't remember. It's going to be a surprise for all of us. Come on. If you need to alternate, you can. One more. Oh, yeah. Woo. All right, we got bicycle crunches. Toss the bands. We're on our back. Hands behind the head, alternating opposite knee to elbow. Get the head up. There we go. Try to keep the shoulder blades off the ground here. If this is too tough, why don't you right here? Still too tough? Then just try to do cross body crunches. There you go. Focus on the core, rotating. The upper body, not just the arms. We're not like this. Just doing this business. We're coming up. There we go. You don't have to go fast. Once you have the movement down, then we speed it up. Focus on the core. Here we go. 10 seconds. Flipping over. We got plank jacks. If this is too tough, just try to hold plank position. Feet together. Hot feet apart. There we go. Let me try to turn sideways so you can see my feet. There we go. Just like that. Try to have your shoulders directly over the hands. You come back. My feet keep hitting the mat. Like I said, if it's too tough, then just try to hold plank. You can also try to do these on the elbows right here. Just like that. If your shoulders are killing you. Maybe it's a shoulder issue versus a core issue. It's slowly becoming more and more of a core issue as the time goes by. Oh, burn so good. Last one. Russian twist. We're going to burn it up here. On our butt. Lean back a little bit. Rotate. Rotate. There we go. Try to touch the hands. Fully rotating the upper body. We're not like this. We're not doing that. Rotate. Rotate. 
Oh, I need more mobility in my life. Who votes we start doing more mobility exercises? Because, man, my back doesn't want to move. Uh, I'm in if you're in. Come on. You can go slower. Oh. Come on. Woo. There we go. Great workout. On to chest openers for our cool down. Hey, you better not dip out on me. We got a cool down. I'm on to you guys. Getting out of here early. Slipping in the elbows. You know the drill here. There we go. Nice and easy. Hope you guys enjoy the workout today. It was a fun one. Oh, great work. Great work. Oh, try to go a little bit higher. Oh, I can feel it in my shoulders. <laughs> All right, alternating back stretch here. So what we're going to do is take an arm across, underhook it with the other one, and then pull, trying to stretch out the back here. We'll do 15 seconds on this side and then switch for another 15 on the other. That was a fun workout. I had like a great pump, shoulder pump, chest, back. Oh man, at one point or another, it's all getting pumped up. Oh, I forgot to switch. We're just gonna hold this one into the break. I need to like split the timers on these. There we go, still stretching my back. We got arm swings coming up. Forwards and backwards here. There we go. Nice and easy on these. We're just trying to loosen everything back up. Get that lactic acid out of there. All right, we got good mornings. You stretch out that back a little bit more here. So slight bend in the knees, bending at the lower back. There we go. Feeling that stretch out. If you want to kind of grab onto the toes or pull the legs, really try to stretch it out a little more, you can do that. If you want to have your legs straight, you can do that as well. Oh, I feel it. A little stiffness there. That's what happens when you go a little bit heavy. A little stiffness is fine. We just don't want any pain or serious aching. Here we go. Alternating side bends. Oh, here goes the mobility. Lucky us. All right. Get our feet a little wider here. Rotate to the side. Feeling a stretch out. Sometimes what I like to do here is kind of Rotate the core of the body kind of to the side. Go the other way. Feel it stretch out. Oh, yeah. Oof. My entire core is so stiff. It's unbelievable. Actually, who am I kidding? My entire body is so stiff. It's unbelievable. Oof. There we go. Woo! That uh, side bends is turning into a workout for me. Way to go today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys.